Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Andrew Trevino. I'm part of the 2018 Environmental Systems class. Our teacher, Jason Ziptak, applied for a $500 annual classroom grant. Mr. Mr. Trevino, what's that? That? Well, that's our PWS, our personal weather station. Wow, what does it do? Well, it can track and graph barometric pressure and record indoor and outdoor humidity and indoor and outdoor temperature. But why is it in the sky? Well, it's in the sky, so it gets no interference from outside sources, like the heating of the concrete so we can get more accurate data. That's amazing, but what do we have to do with it? You students will track data from the weather station while increasing your understanding of the physics of atmospheric conditions. And with this data, you can predict weather conditions based on different trends and patterns you see from the graph, learning about citizen science. Wow, that's amazing! Where can we see that data? Well, our station will be registered with the Weather Underground, with our data being uploaded to the Weather Underground Network, contributing to the global data collection. All students, parents, teachers, academic stakeholders, and employees can view our data through the Weather Underground Network. This is called Citizen Science. We collect the data and share it with the scientific community. They use our data to make more accurate predictions and weather forecasts. Okay. This is the PWS up close. This is the wind vane, which measures wind direction. This is the anometer, which measures wind speed. This is a thermal hydrometer, which measures temperature and humidity. This is the UV, our ultraviolet, light sensor. This is a solar radiation sensor. This is the rain collector, which measures rain collected over time and rainfall rate. This is the ambient weather display. Here is the graph, which shows barometric pressure, temperature, and humidity. Moving to the right, we see wind direction, wind speed, wind gust, and wind chill. Moving down, there is indoor temperature and humidity here, outdoor temperature and humidity here, dew point here, and heat index to the right of it. Moving to the left, we see rainfall, below that date and time. To the left, we see sunset here, moon phase here, sunrise here. Moving up, we see the barometer here. Now we see solar radiation and the UV light here. 